So I'll say this. Now, I'm a stand-up comedian. I have stood on many, many stages with a microphone in my hand. My imposter syndrome, I thought that it was going to be different. There's this really interesting study where they found 85% of the things you worry about actually never happen. And beyond that, of the 15% of the times it does happen, 97% of the time, it either wasn't as bad as the person thought it was gonna be, or they learned something from it. Fear has a really useful function. And its function, which goes back millions of years, is to keep us from killing ourselves. The problem is that the world has changed. And part of what it means to be an entrepreneur is recognizing when fear is helping you and when it is hurting you. We're changing the images on our website, or we're playing with the fonts, or we're trying to get the report to fit on 12 pages. And it's this fussing, 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 and it feels like we're trying to aim for its perfection. But what we're really doing is procrastinating. Can I be brilliant and powerful and amazing while holding on to some fear or learning how to let go of my fear? Can I really be both? For most people, maybe because of how they grew up, maybe because of a cultural means or norm that was placed upon them, all that comes into play when you have conversations around fear, which in the end is really about the story in your head of how you approach them. Our bodies have a lot of chemical responses going on. And so when we're feeling a lot of fear, we usually have adrenaline and cortisol. So all of a sudden, our brilliance gets dimmed. All of a sudden, all of our great creative thoughts go away. For each person, it's really identifying, you know, how you feel inside and not allowing yourself to twist the narrative. The opportunity is there. And you have the sight to do something great, the right to do something great. You gotta fight through the fear.